What up, what up? Winbush here. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how you can get started using a Dim Earth plugin inside of Cinema 4D. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And so for those that don't know, Dim Earth is actually a plugin that works within Cinema 4D. I've been using it for a plethora of years. Basically, if you wanna make like maps or any type of terrain, this is the plugin for you. So I'm gonna show you guys how we can get started. But first, this is the website you wanna to go to. I'll leave the link down below. You have to purchase this, but if you work in television like I do, making a lot of maps, is well worth the cost and so I'm gonna get started by actually coming down here I have cinema 4d open and once you have the plugin installed you should see dim earth here at the top of your bar here if not all you have to do is go to new layouts right here come using cinema 4d version 25 you just click on standard and it should reset it to like the old version of cinema 4d with the UI layout and so you'll see dim earth right here and what I'm gonna do is left click and come down to geocoder so it's as easy as basically if you know like the location that you want like let's say like the grand canyon all you have to do is go in here type in grand canyon and that's the easiest way to go about it so i'm going to type in grand canyon hit enter and it's actually going to give us two different locations here if i look at the longitude right here it's giving us two different areas but it's always going to give you two results and so i'm just going to go to the first one here click go to and there you go with this latest version of dim earth it works super fast it's pretty pretty dope and so you can see right there we have the grand canyon in here but let's say we don't want to use just this we want to use like a really specific location say that we're working on a show and it wants us to be pinpoint accurate and where our location's at and so we can also use google map to bring in information into dim earth i'm going to show you that right now so if i go back over to google maps here which i have up right here if I pull back, I'm in the same vicinity, just in Nevada, right here on the Nevada, Arizona line. And let's say that we wanna just pull in data from right here. So I'm actually gonna left click right there. You can see right down here, it gives us some coordinates. I'm gonna left click on it. And it's gonna come up with some information here on the right hand side. Now the first one I usually try is right here. And I'll just click on this where it says copy plus code. And sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time it does, but let me paste it in here. And there you go. So yeah, it gave us our information right there. Again, it gave us two different coordinates. They look like they're pretty close in here. And so I'm actually gonna go to location, like so. And if you pull back, you can see we have our location. We can also make a pin, so we know exactly where we are on our terrain and everything in case we move it around. But if you look right here at the latitude and longitude, if I pull open Google Maps, let me shrink this down a little bit so we can see both at the same time. You can see that the coordinates are pretty spot on here. And so if I look at these coordinates, they're around 36, which we have right here. And then this is negative 114, negative 115, but you can also come in here and we can handle this as well. So if I click on here and just copy, and let's say I paste that in there like so, then I'll come back over to longitude or latitude, copy that, type that in, and click go to and there we go so now we're in the location that we want to be we manually typed in the latitude and the longitude coordinates in here so now let's say we're ready to see what some of this map information looks like so i'm going to actually close this down and i'm going to come over here let me pull this over a little bit so we can see some of our attributes and right here where our tab is we can actually zoom in and zoom out if we want so let's say you want to say we come up to five just to zoom out a tad bit here so now that we have the geological location in here, I'm gonna show you guys how we can add some texture to this so it looks completely like a map. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is come down here to Dim Earth. I'm gonna select this and bring it up. Just make sure I have my Dim Earth selected. And then I'm gonna come over to my attribute tabs here so we can actually zoom it out if you want to. So area zoom, click on maybe five, just to zoom out like a tad bit there. And it looks like a pretty good area to go to. Okay, so now I'm gonna come over to Map Loader and we see this little discretion here. Let me move this over so you can read it more. But you wanna click on this disclaimer and it's just saying that make sure that you abide by the copyright laws. And so like if you're pulling in textures from like Bing Maps or Google Maps, make sure that whatever you're using for, you're staying within those copyrights and you're not breaking any laws there. I believe there are some open source ones here. Like I believe the Stobbin one, you could use that. But for this example, I'm actually just gonna come up here to like Google Maps, click on that. 
and right here where it says level this is the level of detail so if you come down here where it says info you can see that we have a tile count and as we move up our level of detail you can see that the tile count is going up and down and so the higher the level the more detail a texture is going to be you can only go to a certain amount it's going to let you know if you try to go too high so let's say i try to do 25 which just gives us like an insane amount of tiles but if i go to download texture it's going to tell us that it's actually not going to attempt it because it's too high and so it wants us to either lower the map level or reduce the size of the dim earth and so for this example let's stick to something a little bit lower maybe around like 15 which is 330 tiles which isn't bad we could go higher but i want to make sure this downloads quick so i'm just going to click on download texture in the lower left hand corner you can see that it's going pretty fast here it's almost actually done with the download here you can see it's speeding up and voila there we go so now we have our google map texture here and if i pull in it looks exactly how it does on google maps and let's say we want to use like a terrain instead because i mean who's going to want to use this all you have to do is select your layer right here go to like google terrain actually let's go to google satellite that will give us some better imagery same thing click on download texture and it's actually going to save it over top of here so if i look at my dim earth right here while this is downloading you see that we have our texture right here but once this is done it's actually going to stack it on top so now you can see we have our google earth right here it's a little bit fuzzy that's because we can actually raise up the level but this looks pretty good here and we can actually come down in the 3d we can see the terrain and everything like that as well so everything is actually raised up there which is cool and i'm actually going to take these and delete these because i only need this one texture here and if we really want to like exaggerate the terrain and everything here like if we're in like a pov view i'm going to come back down here to my tabs click on objects i'm going to come down here to remapping and right here where it says height amplified we can actually jack this up and it's actually raising everything there so you can see the terrain raised up maybe let's take it to like 150 and there we go so we have some really tall mountains in there and everything like i said if you want better textures you're going to have to raise up the level but depending on your internet speeds that can take a little while and so i would say just maybe go in there kind of get your feel for it and see what's good for you so i just wanted to share this introduction of dem earth with you guys i know a couple of people were asking me if i was going to start covering dem earth again which i am because i'm starting to use it a lot more for work and so make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to see what i'm cooking up here in the future and if you have any questions make sure you leave me a comment down below and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i'll catch you guys in the next video i'll see you soon take care what up what up Wimbush here